Hi guys, how are you? Uh, we are going to make a bear today, uh, a little bear from the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which is available online as a little storybook kit. So you'll get a the actual storybook and you will get in the kit uh, enough clay to make a little bear. Of course, if you don't have that kit, you can still make this little bear. So this is him. Okay, just a little teddy bear. So we are going to make that today. Again, I'm going to use just one uh, sachet of orange. It, you will probably get two in your kit. In fact, you will. Um, but I'm going to make a bear with just one um, sachet, just so you, that you can see the size that he um, turns out to be. Okay, so I'm going to take the orange and I'm going to add a little touch of black just to make him slightly darker more of a brown color okay so i'm going to take about the size of a pea piece of black about the size of a pea i'm going to add it to the orange and i'm simply going to stretch and fold until that color changes okay so if you want a darker brown you would just simply add more black okay so more of a brownie color okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to divide this clay up so that we can have the right proportions for his body head and legs and arms so take your clay you're going to roll a sausage shape okay And what I'm going to do here, he has quite small arms and legs actually, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take just slightly less than half, okay, more towards a third. So let's take just over a third of the clay and we're going to make this his, his body, okay. So let's roll that into a ball. And then with your high five hand, you roll forward and back just a few times to make a little oval shape. Give that a tap on the table so that he's sitting up and not falling over. And then we're going to make the color for his tummy. So what I want you to do is to take um, about the size of a Malteser, maybe slightly bigger, okay, with the white. Take a tiny pinch of the brown that you have just made, add it to the white and stretch and fold. And this is just gonna give you a lighter shade, a lighter shade of the color that you already have, okay? now. If you notice on this wee guy here, okay, he has a tummy and then his snout is the same color. So this piece of clay that we are making at the minute, this color, we are gonna use this for both his tummy and his snout. So what I want you to do is to roll that into a sausage, okay? And I want you to take half for the snout and half for the tummy. So let's put half of that away in our tub, turn it upside down so it doesn't dry out. And take this part, roll it into a ball shape, okay, and then into a slight oval. And then we're going to flatten this down. Okay, little flat part. And we're going to pop this onto the front of our tummy of our bear. Just like this. Okay, so that shows you the front of the bear. And what we're going to do with this other piece of clay that we've left to one side, we're going to take a pinch from that and we're going to roll a ball, we're going to turn our bear around and we're just going to pop this onto the back as his little tail. Okay, so you know which is the front and which is the back now. Okay, now what we want to do is to take some clay for our legs and we want to leave enough for a head. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, and I'm going to roll one half into a ball and just have a wee look and see, is that gonna be big enough? Yes, it is. So we'll set that to one side. And then with this other half, I'm going to roll into a sausage and I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm gonna cut those in half again. And this is going to be our legs and our arms for our bear. So let's roll those into ball shapes. If you've got two bigger pieces, use those for the legs. And the two smaller pieces can be for the arms okay so with the two bigger pieces if you have those if they're all the same size that's fine 
So with those, we're going to take our high five hand, keep it straight, set it over half of the ball. So you should still see half sticking out at the side of your hand. Roll forward and back so that you have a little sausage there with the rounded part on the end. Okay, do the same with the other one. So roll forward and back, little sausage, the little rounded part on the end. Now turn that upright so that the rounded part is at the bottom underneath your fingers and then give it a tap on the table and this will naturally form the foot or the paw of your bear. Okay, and if you lie those flat, they will roll so that the foot points up. Okay, and you can give that a wee pinch with your pinchers, your finger and your thumb if you wish. And we're simply going to bring forward our bear and set the two legs to the two sides of our bear. So just pop those on so that the feet are sticking away or looking away from our, our teddy, okay, or our bear. And take the two arms and we're simply going to roll these into two little sausages, not too long guys. And what you can do is on the end of the sausage with your pinchers is just give it a wee squeeze to make it look more like a little hand or a paw. Okay. And then you can pop those on to the side of your bear, whatever way you want. So you can have one, you can have him sitting as if he's sitting down, resting. Just like this, so I have one arm at the side coming around and then I have one at the back as if he's got his paw on the ground like this. Okay, so set that to one side. So take the ball that you have uh, set to one side for the head and I want you to take a little pinch off that, okay, for the ears. Just a little pinch, about the size of a pea. Roll a sausage, cut it in half. Roll two ball shapes for the ears. Flatten those down a little bit and if you wish you can make a little line in the middle using your tool just press down into the centre of those to make a little line. Okay set those to one side with your clay the bigger part for your head give it a wee stretch and a fold and then we're going to roll a ball shape okay so let's roll a ball. Brilliant. Now, take the ball shape, set it into the palm of your hand. Take your other hand, give it a bit of a tap, okay, just to flatten it just a little bit, okay. Set that down. Now, what you can do, well, we'll put the ears on at the end, thing, just in case we squish them. So what we're going to do is take the little portion of clay out of our pot that we've set to one side for the snout, okay. Roll it into a ball shape. And what we're going to do, we're going to have our pinchers and we're going to hold this ball and just give it a tap on the table to flatten out the bottom so that it becomes a dome shape. Okay, now in the little book, the, the little bears have quite a, a pointy little snout, just like this wee guy. But you can make yours whatever way you want. Okay, so tap it so that the bottom is flat. Then take your little head. Okay. And you're going to pop this on towards the bottom half of your head. Okay, leaving room for eyes. And then what you want to do is take your black, take a little portion, very, very small amount, guys. You don't need a big amount for the nose. So the smaller the better sometimes. Roll a little ball shape. Okay. And if you want, you can make that into a slight oval for his nose. Just touch the side of it, lift it up, and you're going to pop that on to the front of his little snout. Okay, so this little bear has little white eyes. Okay, so you can do white and then black if you wish. So you can put two little bits of white, so two tiny little circles or balls of white, flatten those and pop those on. Or you can use just black, which is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so roll a sausage, cut it in half. I've just lifted out a pinch of black, guys. So I like to, to have small eyes. I think sometimes if you have them too big, um, it doesn't look just as good. So two little ball shapes. 
and then with the side of your finger just touch the side of the ball if it doesn't stick okay wet your finger slightly touch the side of the ball and then pop those on just above the snout okay so that's the difference that that's just black and this wee guy has the white so you can put the white on first and then add a teeny tiny little bit of black for the the pupil if you wish or you can do this one and it's just black so then we're going to add his little ears more to the side some animals have them more to the top little bears have them more to the side okay and then bring forward your bear and as always we're going to lick and stick okay rub the top make sure it's moist and then pop your little head on guys this is with one sachet of clay so i just i like to show you just how far your clay can go okay and if you're keeping it airtight it will last months keep it airtight guys isn't he gorgeous there we go Happy days. See you soon.